Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day, and today we're gonna be taking a look at real world zero to 60 times on the Tesla Model S Plaid. That means there's not going to be any sort of prepped tracks. That means the road may have a slight grade going up or down. I'll do the best I can to make sure it's as flat as possible. That means that we're not gonna be in drag strip mode on the Plaid. That means we're not going to be in cheetah stance mode on the Plaid. And it's just gonna be very real world conditions like you were driving home or just running errands and you wanna put the pedal down. That's really what this video is gonna be about. What kind of time are we getting on our zero to 60 when we're just tooling around town, just running errands, going to work, that kind of stuff. So that's what the video is gonna be about. Uh, the device I'm using to track all these times is gonna be the Draggy device. And in my experience, the Draggy device is pretty accurate. It may be off sometimes one or two miles per hour, which is pretty good. It's just a GPS tracker. And so um, that's what we're gonna be running off of. And uh, as far as the current conditions today, we've got uh, 65, high 65 in Colorado, and um, the conditions are relatively good. Not really any sort of moisture on the ground or anything like that. As for the car, the car is going to be in plaid acceleration, it's gonna be in sport steering, and it's gonna be in sport suspension. As for the tires I'm running, these are the Michelin Pilot Sport tires that just came from Tesla when I bought the car. And I would say we've got about 70%, maybe 60% tread left, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe let's say 70% tread left, with a caveat that they're slightly shredded from drifting around parking lots and doing donuts on pavement and stuff like that. So still a good amount of tread, but again, this is a real world test. As for the battery life, we're gonna be looking at uh, low 70% up to mid 80% while I'm doing all these launches. And again, it's just gonna be simple stuff, coming out of a red light, going onto a highway, stuff like that. As the weather gets nicer, guaranteed, I will certainly be getting to the drag strip, the track strip, not the track strip, the drag strip in the track course, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we will be getting out and testing the car in some different environments, but for today, this is gonna be a real world test on what you can expect from your Tesla Model S Plaid while you're just driving around the town and it's high 60s and low moisture. If you like this kind of stuff, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and let's hop into it. Okay, so as you can see, when we have a lack of a roll start or a prepped surface, and we're just driving around town, we're not gonna have the same times that Tesla advertises, obviously. But I will still say the times that the Model S Plaid are putting down are super respectable, and still, apparently, the fastest production car in the world that you can buy, and so it's very respectable times, and again, uh, the climate, the moisture in the air, the ambient temperature, this is not like 90 degrees today and the tires are just sticking to the road. And in no way am I trying to make this video to um, pump up the Plaid status. I think it has enough of that. Everybody knows how awesome the car is. I just wanted to do something very realistic and let you guys know what we're actually running for our zero to 60 times on just a normal road in like normal conditions. So maybe I'll do another video when summer hits and it's quite a bit warmer and we'll see what kind of times we're pulling then just for our average time. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. If you don't know, I'm running the Draggy device in this video and it's relatively accurate to one or two miles per hour off sometimes. I would say most times it's relatively accurate and you're really running about uh, square compared to the speedometer on the car. So that's pretty much it guys. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. 